The purpose of life insurance is to offer protection for the family members of policyholders in case the policyholder faces death, critical illness or permanent disability that forces the policyholder to stop working and stop providing for the family. Let me start by saying that this video is purely for educational purposes. Please consult your insurance agent. The formula for premium rate of life insurance may seem very complicated, but it's actually very simple. The first term you'll come across is face value. Think of face value as the amount of money you want to be passed down to your family members in case something were to happen to you and you could no longer work to provide for your family members. Consider this situation. Let's say eggs were being sold at 6 ringgit per dozen of eggs. This is the same thing as the premium rate. The premium rate is charged per X ringgit of face value. Let's say I wanted to buy 144 eggs. Since the price of eggs is charged per dozen of eggs, I would first need to find out how many dozens there are in 144 eggs. And of course, the way to do that would be to take the total number of eggs and divide it by 12. So by dividing 144 by 12, I now know that I have 12 dozen eggs. And now that I know how many dozens of eggs that I have, I simply need to multiply by 6 ringgit because 6 ringgit is per dozen of eggs. I would have to pay a total amount of 72 ringgit. This is how the formula for the premium rate of life insurance works. First, we need to divide the face value of the policy by X ringgit. This is to find out how many X ringgits there are in the face value. And then we multiply by the rate per X ringgit. That's all there is to the formula for the premium rate of life insurance. Let's try some questions and apply this formula. The annual premium rate schedule per thousand ringgit face value. So the thousand ringgit here is the per X ringgit face value. This will be RMX. Of a yearly renewable term insurance offered by an insurance company is as follows. This is just an example of the rates per thousand ringgit. And as you can see, the rates are affected by the age, by the gender, whether it's a male or a female, and also by whether the person is a smoker or a non-smoker. This is because all these factors affect the life expectancy of a person, and therefore it would affect the premium rate too. If the life expectancy of a person was shorter, then the premium rate would be higher as well. Based on the table, calculate the annual premium for each of the following situations. Mrs. Liao wants to buy an insurance policy worth 135,000. Now, this represents the face value. This is the amount that will be passed down to the family members in case something were to happen to Mrs. Liao. She is 32 years old, healthy and non-smoker. Let's look at the premium rate that fits all these criteria. Mrs. Liao is a female, she is a non-smoker and she is 32 years old, which makes her premium rate 1 ringgit and 47 cents per 1000 ringgit face value. Let's apply the formula. Her annual premium rate will be equals to, first we need to find out how many 1000 ringgits there are in her face value. So this would be the face value of a policy, which is 135,000 divided by 1000 to find out how many thousands there are in the face value of the policy. And then we multiply by the rate that is charged per 1000 of the face value of the policy. And that would be, one ringgit and 47 cents based on the criteria and therefore her annual premium would be 198 ringgit and 45 cents. This is the amount that Mrs. Liao would have to pay every year for a face value of 135,000. Let's try one more. Mr. Raj wants to buy an insurance policy worth 220,000. He's a 31 year old smoker. Let's look at the criteria again. Mr. Raj is a male, he's a smoker, and he's 31 years old. Therefore, his premium rate would be 2 ringgit and 20 cents per thousand ringgit face value of policy. Premium, annual premium would be equals to, first we need to find out how many thousands there are in the face value of the policy. We do that by dividing 220,000 by 1,000, and then we multiply by the rate per thousand ringgit face value, that is, 2 ringgit and 20 cents. And this premium is equals to 484 ringgit. What if the life insurance policy had an add-on critical illness policy with a fraction of the coverage of the life insurance policy? 
Let's try a question. Mr. Lee wants to buy an insurance policy worth 180,000 and wants to add on critical illness policy with a coverage of 25% basic face value. So Mr. Lee is actually getting two policies here. One is the insurance policy, the life insurance policy worth 180,000 face value. And then he wants to add on a critical illness policy with a coverage of 25% of the basic face value. The basic face value would be 180,000. Two policies here. Premium rate for critical illness policy will be different, of course. And Mr. Lee is 33 years old. He's a non-smoker. And the premium rate for the critical illness policy is 1 ringgit and 47 cents per thousand ringgit. This is for critical illness. How do we tackle this question? So let's apply the formula as usual. The total premium that he would have to pay, the total annual premium would be, first let's count the portion for the life insurance policy. And this would be 180,000 divided by 1,000 to find how many thousands multiplied by. Let's look at the premium rate that's chargeable to Mr. Lee. So Mr. Lee is a male, 33-year-old non-smoker. Male, non-smoker, 33-year-old. He's Premium rate is 2 ringgit and 23 cents times 2 ringgit and 23 cents. Now he has also added on, so we plus the critical illness policy. Now the critical illness policy is 25% of basic face value. Now we just have to apply the same formula, the exact same formula, but the face value is only 25%. Therefore, we do 25 over 100 times 180,000. This is the face value for the critical illness policy. The rest of the formula is exactly the same. Then we divide by 1000 to find out how many thousands there are and multiply by the rate. So the rate for the critical illness is 1 ringgit and 47 cents. So times 1.47. And this is how we get the total premium. The total premium is 467 ringgit and 55 cents. If you've learned something from this video guys, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help the channel a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. If you are interested in other consumer mathematics topics, I have done a few. I'll leave all of the links in the description below. If you enjoy videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one video a week. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.